Can we drive one? <laughs> Bring your girlfriend I'll ask you, say. <laughs> <laughs>enjoyed the first part of this video there and obviously if you haven't been to the shed you should definitely go check it out some a ton of cool cars i could probably do a 10 minute video on each car in there they are just it's full of incredible one of ones he's got 22 one of one cars and just everything else is just super special now for this next part of the video here i asked my dad to help me interview bob and rick uh we didn't have a tripod i didn't have any of my lights and I only had my kind of crappy broken little shotgun mic. So I didn't have all the gear necessary to do full on interviews, I only also only had one camera. Uh, but anyway, we sat down, we interviewed him, we came up with some questions and asked him some things. I was gonna cut it down, but decided to just leave it full on raw and just let you guys enjoy the answers that Bob and Rick gave us. So for the next few minutes of the video here, uh, go ahead and watch that. Uh, if you want to see the interviews with Bob and Rick. If you don't, I do have some clips at the end where we head over and continue our trip and go on to Lake of the Woods Brewing Co. And also some bloopers from the video if you want to go to the end of the video. Uh, but I do recommend you take the time and watch these interviews with Bob and Rick. Just uh, really great people and you can really see the passion and uh, the love that Bob has for cars and for the car community and being able to give back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. See ya. Why did you start the shed? Huh. Why? Well, you know, I had I had a um, number of cars that were spread out at four different locations or four different sheds, if you will, and uh, that was hard to 
take care of them properly that way because the one you wanted to drive was always parked way up front so you'd have to move three or four cars to get to it and um, then <clears throat> geez I was leaving out at the airport and uh, there was one guy that was <coughs> raising a concern that you know we get federal money at the airport so I don't think we can uh, store the cars out there so and uh, I had just <coughs> Um, purchased this VIN number one Corvette and uh, figured it needed a better home than bouncing around so that was the motivation to build the place was to put it in a good home a climate controlled building so and uh, I guess since then it's just kind of developed you know, there was a lot of space in here to fill up, so, uh, yeah, we got a lot of cars in here now, yeah. 90, 98 cars currently. And what does the shed mean to you now? Oh, goodness. Um, well, kind of a home away from home for me. Can't be around the wife 24-7, you know. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, she appreciates that, that I have a place to go, but... I think uh, not only for me, but uh, what it's developed into, uh, word of mouth, to get people from all over the state, Minnesota, um, South Dakota, Wisconsin, that uh, come up to take a look, because they've heard about it, and they want to see it. So there's a lot of car nuts out there besides just me. Um, <coughs> So it, um, I think it, uh, I don't know if it provides anything other than uh, satisfying curiosity for car people, car nuts, so, um, and I'm good with that, I'm okay with that. Did you see it getting to where it is now when you started? Had no idea, absolutely no idea that, you know, it, <clears throat> It, um, you know, I, I needed a place, and I knew that, and, uh, and uh, once we started, you know, at first I think I had maybe 18 cars in here to start with, and uh, geez, you know, we had our grand opening for the shed itself, and uh, we had literally thousands of people that came for the grand opening. And, uh, and we charged them to get in, and then we took that pool of money and donated it to a group called HELP, which is a nonprofit group that's uh, called HELP, which is help e ease local people's pain. So if somebody that maybe had a fire at the home or has uh, uh, somebody that's fairly sick, um, money gets donated to them to, to help them out. And um, so that was the good cause there. But, uh, you know, the cars in getting a few more in here, they were cars that just kind of tripped my trigger, what I liked. And uh, cars out of the 60s, which, <clears throat> um, I guess I learned to drive in, on a 67 Camaro, so I had, uh, <coughs> that would explain why there's 16 Camaros in here currently. But, uh, you know, it, it just it just developed and, uh, and blossomed to uh, an interest for an awful lot of people. And I'm good with that, you know. I, and I have them here to share and to share the interest and, and uh, encourage people to come, you know, so, and we get, um, of course people sign the guest book when they come in, but we get about 10,000 people a year that come in here at the end of the road in northern Minnesota. 
so I think that uh, tells quite a bit about the place, getting that many people in here. Like what, how long has it taken to build this? Like when did it open? Um, in uh, the shed opened in uh, 09, June of 09. 2009, I should say, yeah, 2009, and, uh, and uh, originally it was, I was just going to have cars in the first two sections, and in the back section it was going to be storage for snowcats and boats and other things, and uh, it didn't take long before the cars kind of overtook that storage space. Um, but um, it's not a bad thing, yeah, I don't think, yeah. My wife gets a little upset at me at times, but, um, you know, saying I've, I've got enough cars, so don't buy any more. Well, I might. <laughs> we'll see. One purchase you've made that kind of stands out as a story above the others. Um, I know they're all a different story, but is there anything yeah. that stands out? No, I just, uh, not really, I guess, uh, this VIN number one Corvette, um, I bought from, well, a friend of mine, a guy by the name of Todd Oside, that, that uh, helped out, or was with me a lot of, at a lot of the auctions I went to, and uh, he's the car guy through and through. So, um, I mean, he's the kind of guy that would stick his head under the hood of a car and look down and say, boy, those, those tie rods are original to this car. They're not supposed to be like that. And, and so, uh, yeah, he's very knowledgeable about it. And it was a good friend to have when I was buying cars. Um, but, you know, no one specific car is any better than the one next to it, I don't I don't think. They all tell a story, don't they? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's it with cars. There's a story behind every one of them. Absolutely. Yep. On behalf of the Corvette Club and told Bob, thanks for letting us in. This is this is awesome. Okay. Well, well, see how cool this is. Yeah, well yeah, that's good. it's my pleasure. I'm happy that you came and, and that's why it's here for people to enjoy it. Excellent. So, what does the shed mean to you? Shed to me is probably one of the best hangouts that I could find. Very simple. Uh, the people, there's no strangers I ever had in here, just friends I didn't know. Car loving people. How long have you been with the shed? I've been here since day one, which it opened in 2009, and uh, local car club people that are involved would help keeping the vehicles on the road and uh, Doug, another gentleman who helps with the uh, tours and stuff, he works on the vehicles and all I can say is just too simple for today's way of doing things and it ain't a job if you enjoy what you're doing. You know, any one particular or a few particular cars that stand out to you, the stories behind them or well, anything like that? All I can say is, I mean each one got something about autographs, some may be like this, some may be like that. But I'll have to say the 65 Chevelle, that was my very first car, $350, co signed by my stepdad, and if I miss one payment, that car was his. So, uh, <laughs> so I got a soft spot for that one. Okay, well, Manitoba, we appreciate you guys having us down here. This is terrific. This is the third time for me personally, and uh, every time there's new stuff, just because of the and way you guys do things. And it's right back at you. I mean, it's fun when we get car people, you're asking good questions and both of you know me well enough. If I say I don't know, I don't. <laughs> and I got, I mean, may God bless all of us and you, yeah, and uh, don't be strangers. That's all I can say. And again, not to be sarcastic, where do you go into something like this for a free will donation? Get this close. And I mean, all the generosity that we get goes to local people in need so it's it's a win-win it's I hate win-lose situations and uh, 
No, I mean, God bless you all, folks. Thank you. All right, so how cool was the tour of the shed there? Obviously, great interviews with Bob and Rick there. Bob, obviously, the owner of everything in this town, it seems like, and all of those cool cars. Um, we're down at the shed. We just came by Lake of the Woods Brewing Co. here in, uh, in War Road, and we're going to have some beers, enjoy the beautiful weather by the marina here, and then we're going to head back to Canada. So I'm probably going to finish off the video right here, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one, whenever that may be. Oh, you look like my third wife. Now I'm going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to Newfoundland? Can we drive one? <laughs> Bring a girlfriend, I'll ask you. Same thing. You know how this right When these cars were not built for figures like ours. Can you stay with this? This car never looked this darn good till you got in. That's why it's here for people to enjoy it.